Hey guys, welcome to another edition of the Mark and Mitch Show. I'm Mark Striegel, Mitch Lafon. Mitch, how are you? Good, good. Doing great, actually. It's been it's been a fabulous week for me. Good, good. And uh, we are here to talk about Motorhead. Now, there's been some Motorhead news. Sadly, we lost Fast Eddie Clark this uh, this past week, and he was such a vital part of the early Motorhead records. And uh, wow, all three of those guys, all three of the original Motorhead, what do they call them? The Three Amigos, gone. Yeah. Now. That's the, crazy. The sort of Ace of Spades lineup is completely gone. I mean, it's... Yes. It's unbelievable to think that, and, and you know, especially as I get older and I start seeing people dropping off in their sixties, you go, "Oh wow, <laughs> am I right. down to my last ten years?" And but it's 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 terrible. I, I mean, you know, you 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 want your heroes to be with you your entire lives, and 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 think that they'll always be there for you. And right. now this this classic album made by a classic lineup just is it's it's over. And it's it's the sad, saddest thing. Really, is the saddest thing. Yeah, and you know, it's it's those three guys. You know, Lemmy went on with the band, as as mm-hmm. we all know, for a long time. It became a four piece for a while after after that, and then it was back to a three piece with, you know, with Phil Campbell on guitar. Um, but he never really was able to live down what those three guys did. You know, Phil Taylor on the drums and. Uh, Fast Eddie Clark on the guitar and Lemmy, of course, on bass and vocals. The, the, the output that those three guys had as as a unit, to me, there was just nothing that that could touch it. And uh, you know, after reading Lemmy's book, um, which was called White Line Fever, I, I, it was published in two thousand two, but I recently read it, and, and you know, he he appreciated that stuff and recognized it as great that the three of them had done. But then again, he always uh, felt like people focused in on that. And he, you know, he hated it when people would come up and go, Oh, Ace of Spades, that was a great record, you know, because he was like, yeah, well, I've done 30 other records too. And, and there's some great stuff on that. Um, thoughts but, but, on that. But isn't that sort of the, the, the catch 22 with all bands? I mean, Kiss has done, right. What twenty eight records? Uh, twenty three of them have, have been with new lineups essentially, and it's always well. You played with Ace Frehley in nineteen seventy six, and it just that that kind of just stays with you, right? It's true. That original chemistry of any band is really hard to to duplicate and mimic, yeah. and fans fall in love with an original chemistry and an original lineup, and they just it's hard to let go. Yeah, and, and of course, you know, Ace of Spades. Such a strong album, but you were gonna you were gonna add a comment there. Uh, I don't I don't even know where I was going with that, but yeah. <laughs> um, oh, what about the uh, I, I guess the work that Fast Eddie, you know, being that we just lost him, did with with Fastway. Were you a big fan of that stuff? I mean, Eddie Kramer produced those first two Fastway records. I thought that stuff was so brilliant, and you know, in the passing. Uh, the passing that we just had of fast Eddie Clark. I I've heard some people mention fast way, but still it's mostly again, just people talking about his time with motorhead. Yeah. I mean, fast way is one of those bands that were more on the outside for me. I knew a couple of tracks, not, not never really delved into it, but at the time that that stuff came out, I was more into what was going on in North America. My sort of love for European metal and European rock developed in the late nineties, way past all these releases. So, you know, when you look at the brand Motorhead versus Fastway, obviously people are going to go st- are going to go straight to Motorhead first because that's right. that's the marquee name and and Fastway for all the great music they did, they never did an Ace of Spades. They might yeah. have in in you know, theory in terms of musical quality or right maybe, but in the hearts of fans, they never did an Ace of Spades. And so yeah. You know, and and that association with with Lemmy is also tough to beat, right? I mean, when and again, I'll I'll use the Kiss analogy that when the day comes that Ace Frehley passes away, they're not going to talk about the comet. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> right? That's true. They're yeah. going to talk about Kiss. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then, and then, you broke some. Oh, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, yeah. On the other, on the flip side of that, on on a lineup ending and 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 a, and a time and passing with with his passing, 
I interviewed uh, Phil Campbell recently. Yes. Uh, Phil Campbell on the Bastard Sons, new album, Age of Absurdity, which I've heard. It, it's not out just yet, but I've heard it. It is fantastic. It really is fantastic. But I was talking to him, and I asked him a question about, you know, Queen has uh, gone on without uh, Freddie Mercury, but and not to say gone on, but they've, they've gone with Queen featuring Paul Rogers, Queen featuring Adam Lambert. Would you consider doing a Motorhead featuring, and I picked out of the blues randomly james hetfield and dave grohl which right I don't know, sure two names Makes that sense. popped to yeah. mind well you know when you think of of those kinds of projects uh dave grohl pops up quite a bit i mean at, at foo fighter shows david lee roth will pop out and do a song yeah uh paul stanley will pop so it, i don't know the name popped into head and he said yeah sure yeah 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 we're we're, we're planning it and i was like excuse me wow. <laughs> I was like, I was like, what? Excuse me. I was just sort of throwing that that question out there to maybe put a a bug in your ear and have you think about doing that next year. But so it it appears as though uh, Motorhead with Phil Campbell and uh, Mickey D, okay, featuring guest vocalist is something that's in the works. And right, I, I'm excited about that. I know that fans sometimes say, well, you know, you should let leave sleeping dogs lie and yada 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 but bringing the music to the people i'm always a fan of um hearing those motorhead songs in concert again big fan of and as an added bonus if you can get and i don't know who the vocalists are going to be but let's let's say they do get a james hetfield okay right you know how cool was it to hear him sing ace of spades or or any of the songs so I'm all in favor of it, but I got to say, I was I was taken aback by the media coverage. I mean, in Canada, we have a daily um, in every city, you know, the Calgary Sun, the Toronto Sun, the Ottawa Sun, all the dailies ran it. And then I started wow. seeing dailies in Spain, and I started seeing my name on <laughs> Japanese websites with all kinds of weird, you know, lettering that I can't read. And then yeah. I started seeing Russian sites with Cyrillics and blah, 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 Mitch Lafon, and you'll... Oh, okay. Uh, so that was really exciting. So, I, you know, that just goes to, but the point being is that other than exciting for me, but the point is, I think it shows that fans really want this. And, and when the mainstream media is like, yeah, we want this, it just goes, you know, yeah, okay, let's do this. Let's bring back Lemmy's memory. It would, to me, though, for something like that to work, I mean, you're mentioning two of the the biggest names out there, James Hetfield, Dave Grohl, um, you know, you're going to need people of that caliber oh, for for this, this to work. I, I can't see, and I mean, I'm trying to think of, of some lesser known names. You know, if you have the guy from The Sword, I don't even know who, or, you know, or even the guy from Mastodon or something like that no. out there fronting it. I don't think there's no. going to be... Uh, the interest. I, I think that you would need. I mean, a Dave Grohl. Um, oh no, know, it has to be a uh, maybe a Phil Anselmo would. I, you know, he did. Uh, he and Dave Grohl actually did yeah. Ace of Spades uh, at one of the Dime uh, Dime bashes. Oh, it's got to uh, be a, a big brand with a big brand. I mean, it's got to yeah. be the Clash of the Titans. You can't have the third singer of Quiet Riot in nineteen. 19- Right, right, 99. Yeah. And I right. mean, no disrespect to that band, but it can't be some guy who's playing the ultimate jam night in California come up and, and sing these songs. You know, you can't have. Yeah. And I don't want. I don't, I don't want to start naming names because it sounds like I'll be disrespecting them. But you know right. what I mean. It can't. It yeah. can't be the third singer of a band that's on its twentieth member. It just. It has yes. to be Dave Mustaine. It has to be James Hetfield. It has to be. Uh, I mean, it has to be a Paul Stanley though. I. Don't, I can't think he he'd be interested in that but but it has to be something like that bruce dickinson kind of thing it can't just be right you know lemmy from you know schmo from philadelphia yeah yeah agree agree and i I don't know i i just i don't know if i could see dave grohl and and james hetfield going out in doing this as a tour if they if they did that would be absolutely amazing well but but, but phil said that it wouldn't be a tour he said that nobody has time for a tour he said that if and when we get this going, it would be select shows. So I could okay. see them doing a New York, a Chicago, a London, a Paris, you know, a Tokyo, you know. And 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 Dave had what was his band? Uh, not Crowbot, Probot, right? Pro, Probot, yeah. Probot, right? Where where Lemmy played? Uh, yeah. Something about your blood. 
Drain Your Blood or something. Yeah, they had, they, Lemmy had a great song on that record. Yeah, and that record was great. That was a great heavy metal record. So Dave yeah. has the chops for it. Yeah, sure. James, of course, we know has the chops for it. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully it'll happen. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it, but it's got to be big names. You think Joey yeah, Belladonna great. of Anthrax is a big enough name to do something like that? I mean, to us he is, but to the general <sighs> public? Um. Yeah, I think if it were, you know, if you had if you had him and 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 Biff from Saxon, and you had you know a team of 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 you know name people, yes, uh, I think that would especially for one off concerts in major markets, I would say yes. Uh, I see that, you know. that that's tough with me with Biff because you and I know Biff. We right. we like Biff. We know we love Saxon. We we're in the metal community. Right. I'm not sure if you're Mr. You know, every average day man and you see Motorhead coming with Biff, you get excited. I think if you see with the Foo Fighters yeah. guy, you go, oh, I gotta oh, go yeah, check yeah, that out. Yeah. I, I, think, I think if it were Biff along with, you know, three or four other names that, that yeah, it could work. But it, yeah, And I mean, it. no disrespect to Biff. He's awesome. I mean, yeah. we, we, but Biff, Biff, Biff Byford, yeah. He's, who's coming to a wonderful uh, Ottawa, Canada on March 25th. I can't wait to see that with Judas Priest. Priest. Yeah. So l- l- let's put that out there. First of all, to the fans that in the comments section, do you want to see this concert happen in the first place? I mean, is this something right. that interests you? And then who would be sort of your, let's say top three choices for singers. Cause it's not going to be just one guy doing 15 shows. It's, it, it's going to have to be a, a, a team of different vocalists. And so who, right. you know, are we talking Phil Ensemble, Dave Mustaine, James Hetfield, uh, God, uh, who else is out there? Uh, Biff, uh, you know, um, Ricky, uh, Ricky Warwick of Black Star. Rock. I mean, who, who, who do yeah, you want to see? He could work, but again, yeah. Does he have the, the, the marquee Dallas? name? Yeah. Oh, he absolutely voice wild performance wild yeah. performance wise. He's, he's on the money. I'm right. just, I just don't know if in, at the Beacon Theater in New York or, or whatever, if you say, hey, Motorhead is back with him, I mean, I'd be there because I love everything right. he does. But, <laughs> you know, anyway, so yeah. let's ask the fans. So, so give us your sort of top three singers that you would like to see do this. And, of course, um, you know, pay, uh, pay respect to Eddie as well. Give us a little uh, memory of Fast Eddie Clark and what he meant to you and so on and so forth. So. There we go. Absolutely. Yeah. Fast Eddie Clark, rest in peace. And uh, Mark, where can folks find you online? Uh, talkingrock.net. I'm also on Facebook and, of course, Twitter and Instagram as Talking Metal. So, yeah, just uh, Google Mark Striegel and or Talking Metal. You'll find me. There you go. How about and, you? Uh, yeah. I, I like the Twitter, so uh, at yeah. Mitch Lafon, M I T C H L A F O N, on Twitter. I'm also on Instagram and on Facebook, but uh, you know, if you ever need to find me, just Google. It's such a wonderful little device. <laughs> Definitely, and we we do post all your content. You know, whether it's a, a podcast, a, a YouTube show, in the Mitch Lafon section on TalkingRock.net. So yeah. if anyone wants just one place to go to get all these great video shows and podcasts and stuff that Mitch is putting out. We do have that all organized into one section on yeah. talking. And I, I, honestly, and, and I've got some great interviews coming up for you. Yeah. And, and, and I've I want got, to hear this Bruce Dickinson one. Yeah. I got Donnie, Dickinson but. and I've got Pantera and I've got, uh, Anvil and, uh, John five, John five was great. I mean, just cool. Such a great chat. And then I have one, which is totally out of left field. Uh, Jim Kerr of simple minds. And, Oh, wow. He, he was just, Again, absolutely fantastic, and and their new album. Listen, it's not rock, it's not metal, it's 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 sort of that dancey Duran Duran-y kind of thing. It's it's a fun album. Good, it's a fun album. Cool. So there Good. you go. Awesome. A lot of great content, not just metal. Excellent. Talk to you next time. Cheers. <laughs>